So if we're looking for a horizontal asymptote, that's going to be my end behavior when x is very, very large. So that means nothing matters but the leading term. And when I look at the leading term, we have y equals x squared over 2x squared. The x squareds cancel out. And I really just have y equals 1 half. So that's part of it. Could only be this one, this one, or this one. And when we're looking for vertical asymptotes, we're looking to see when we divide by 0. So we know we divide by 0 at 1. And negative 3 looks curious until we see that there is an exact factor that's the same in the numerator and the denominator. So this is a whole. And all I'm interested in is x equals 1. Because that's when the denominator is 0. So that means only D has the correct horizontal and vertical asymptote.